Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to show you in Design Space how to make this cute little My Melody 19 inches. It's so stinking cute. Anyway, but before we do, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, let's talk about this, this gal before we get into Design Space. Um, I made her 19 inches, and the funny thing is... Um, I made Hello Kitty at 30 inches, but because of the balloon, that's what made it 30 inches. They ended up being very comparable in size. So I just wanted to show you like side by side. This one is still, I mean, it's not that much. It, it might be just a little bit smaller. She's slimmer, that's all. But let me move this aside just so that you can see this better. All right, so some fun things that we did with this one. Um, I used a very, this is a shimmer red from Cricut and it's, it's beautiful. It's like this candy apple. Um, I love it. And I, I actually stayed away from a glitter, which I normally do a lot of glitter cardstock. So she's so stinking cute by herself. Um, a couple things though. I used foam, um, the cubies from Barely Art, just so that the heart pops out. So it's a little bit more, you know, 3D-ish. Um, and the bow, I did two copies of, or, uh, two sets of them. So the, the initial one goes down at the bottom so that you don't see the black. And then I put it on foam so that you can see it pops out a little bit, the bow. And then that way this envelope, uh, which you can do any envelope. This is a, a die cut from Scrap Diva, but I just thought it was so cute to add because it's actually a functional envelope and you can put a little note in here, which I think is a cute keepsake. So there you have it. Let's switch the screens. And <laughs> so let's do this. I'm gonna, oops, let's make this smaller and you can see. All right. So first things, uh, uh, let's talk about the file. The file is from the Salty Yankee, so you can see that here. It is a cute bundle. I mean, I think I might just make Pochaco in the end, but we did Hello Kitty before. That is available on um, here on YouTube. And the design space tutorials on YouTube, the assembly portion is, it's fully done. Uh, it was a, a recorded live on Instagram. So feel free to go there. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So here's design space. I already have it open. I made her 19 inches, but we can talk about it in a second. Let's go to new project and we're just going to start from the beginning. So here she is. Um, partially I did it 19 inches because I wanted to make sure that, why did I do 19 inches? Um, Maybe it's because of the hat. So <laughs> let's lock this so that we're gonna resize it and we wanna make sure that everything gets resized proportionately. So let's do 19 inches and see. Why did I do 19 inches? This is why I did 19 inches. Um, I think the hat was right at that size. So, and let's look at this hat. This hat is big. Um, so when you look at the hat, let's ungroup it so that we could just look at the hat because there are little pieces out there that we don't want to count in the size. So yeah, this is why, um, we could have gone a little bit bigger because the dimensions is 10.73 by 11.41. We can make this one, we can make this 12 inches. So let's see if we go to 20 inches how that changes. So the hat is now 12.01. So it's gonna get cut off because our paper is 12 by 12. So it's very close. I think you could do it. It would just be cut off a little bit. Um, what I would do is I would have it cut off down at the edges because this rounded part it's so iconic, right? That's my melody. But down here, if it gets cut off a little bit, it would be fine. So I, you know, I would do it at 20 inches. And um, let's just do it at 20 inches. Okay, so I will show you how, let's ungroup everything. Everything else should be fine. So here is her hat. 
like I said, I'll show you how I would put it on the mat um, in a second. All right, all the white pieces, I would ungroup it. And then all of the red, I would ungroup as well. And I might even duplicate the heart. I think the heart, I didn't duplicate it the first time, but I would here, just so that you can add layers to it. And I'm just gonna move it over here. Here's her little nose. The bow, I would definitely duplicate. I liked it. I like having it stacked on the foam. And then here are the little pieces. This is super, super simple. Now, normally I would tell you, bring in the grid of squares, which um, if you wanted to make this bigger, I would, I would still do it. Um, and that is free if you subscribe to my newsletter at theuselesscrafter.com. If not, you can always purchase it on Etsy or through my website. Okay, because this is basically, we're just gonna cut it in half. What I will do is just bring in a square. So we're gonna make this square 11 and a half inches. And then I would How wide is she? She's 12 inches. So let's actually, let's make this 12 inches. And then um, grab the two items, go to a line and a line bottom or top, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna align bottom. And then I am going to a line left okay so now we've got it fully in there right so now I'm just gonna grab the two and I'm gonna slice and delete that I just realized no that doesn't work <laughs> Hold on, let me think about this. I, okay, let's undo this. See, this is good. Cause what happened was when I originally did this file, I just used 12 by 24 for my black background. But in this case, we can't do that because if you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, you're not gonna be able to do that. So actually what you wanna do is, you don't want to align this at the bottom because she is 20 inches, so she doesn't need to be cut in half, right? We, we have a little bit of room. So what you wanna do is actually do something like, you wanna make it, okay, hold on. Let's align this left so that we make sure that it's within the thing. And let's slice it here and see what we have. So, okay, so now this works. So because you wanna make sure that one side is 11 and a half inches, and then the other side can go up to 12 inches. So this is great, 10.61, and then this will be 11.29 by 9.39. Everything fits. So let me show you why, because when you go to make it, this is what you're gonna do. Um, okay, so, this white, this all fits in 12 by 20, 12 by 12 cardstock. We're good, right? Because here's a 12 inch line. Now you're black. This is what you're gonna wanna do. When you go to cut this, if you only have a 12 by 12 mat, this is what you wanna do. Um, first of all, I recommend you have a 12 by 24 mat, but you will click the three dots move object and we're just going to move it to another black sheet okay now on this one this one is fine right because it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock this one looks a little controversial oops where's my other black this one goes past the 12 inch line but if you look at this it doesn't start up here at the zero zero line so when you go to put the paper down, go past the 12 inch line, 
because this top part isn't cutting, it will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Your piece is technically um, under 12 inches, right? So let's go back to look at this size. 11.97, it will fit on a 12 by 12. The other dimension is 10.61. So that's what I mean by doing that, okay? Same thing with my Melody's hat. So see how it goes past here? What I would do is I would put the paper starting at the quarter of an inch line. Now remember, this is going to cut off a little bit right here. These two pieces you wanna move, you can move up here if you wanted to, so it will cut. Everything else will cut perfectly. Let's go back and look at this really quickly. So it's cut here. Um, we may, you may have, because of this line right here, let's see how this, um, let me move this to the back. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this seam right here, oh, it goes through the eyes. Okay, so what you want to do is, we want to duplicate this piece and then we want to go to contour. We want just the eyes. Oops, I want that. I don't want this, this, all of that. Let's see, we don't want that and we don't want the nose. We want these two pieces and we want them in black, okay? Because you see how there is the seam right there? Well, now we have the black pieces and we're just gonna cover up those seams. So you won't notice in the middle, right? You're gonna have seam lines here, but it'll be minimal. And that's if you don't use 12 by 24 cardstock. All right, I think we've got it all. The next thing that you can do is you can, you know how we did that envelope? Um, you can go into images and let's search envelope. And I love this because if this was for a birthday party or some sort of special occasion and you want to put a personalized note and something to keep for a long time, um, I think this is a great way to do it. So what we want to look for is we actually want a folded envelope. So let's look and see. I know there's some in here. Here, one of these things. So this, let's add to canvas. And you wanna make sure that the note, okay, so let's, let's bring in her again. But this time let's flatten it because all I wanna do is I really wanna get her size. So let's see, she's 20 inches, right? So here she is. I wanna make sure that this envelope is sized properly. So let's arrange and bring it to the front. And what we're really looking at is when this is folded up, we're really looking at just the shape of this rectangle. So I want the rectangle to kind of not be so big. So I feel like that looks good. So I'm going to ungroup this for now so that you can see what this looks like. This is the size of the envelope and this will be hanging here. If you actually want to make it even a little bit smaller, which right now, this is, it's, it's about uh, 2.8 inches by one and a half. We can make it a little bit smaller. Let's just do a little bit smaller. And now your envelope would be about this size. That's really cute, right? So that's how you resize things. And I think it has, does it have a little hole right here so that you can actually well, I don't know what that little hole is for. It doesn't make sense to me, but this is what it's gonna look like. Very similar to the way I have this one. And you, that way you can make it a functional envelope and add, add a little note in there. All right, I think we are good here. Let me know what you think. I know it's a different kind of tutorial. Um, so please give me comments, questions, special requests, all of that, I'm here for it. And then because it's still January, 2023, 
Um, if you want to take an online workshop with me or you want to meet me in person, I do have the in-person workshop in Texas. Both are happening in February. The workshop is called XOXO Craft Girls. It's all Valentine's Day crafts. Um, check it out. The link is in the description. And if you have questions, reach out to me because I want to make sure that you understand what you're taking. And um, I mean, I fully think it's a great class. We, uh, Josie and I from, uh, Josie from Sophie's Corner Crafts, um, we really designed the classes and the projects so that it would fit a wide range of, of crafters and that you would learn no matter where you are in your cricket, in your cricket career, <laughs> in your cricket crafting career. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so 